Hello people, this is Lots of 7 and uh, I'm actually quite new to the Pokemon Wi-Fi battling when it comes to the narrating battles, so so I do appreciate constructive comment comments and tips if you want to share something with me. So here we go, we have a battle against Xenon, a guy who I'm actually subscribed to and I really think that this was a very intense battle. So here I lead off with my Wello Little Bit Zero Fighter, and he leads off Dr. Wily, his intimidating Mawile. So I decide to U-turn out what I think was a bit of a mistake because that Mawile has Sucker Punch, and I know that Mawile has Sucker Punch because he showed that in our previous battle. But I didn't use this team, so he doesn't know exactly what to expect. So. Here is my Bentley, my Wall Turtle, the Rapid Spinner, quite obviously because there's no, pretty much no other reason to use Wall Turtle. So he has Sauce Box, a Grass Normal type, so I think that he might double switch so I fake it out. And here I decide to stay in because I thought he would over predict and go with the return or Nitro Power. So, here the stab return does quite a bit, but I get off my Toxic quite easily, because even if it would have been a critical hit, I would have survived that. And here, the Toxic is gonna put a timer on that thing, and here, I got nothing else to do with the water, so I switch out my Wizardful Sun to take actually Horn Leech. I kind of... I did want to switch into my Venomosa because I have stab, so perfect attack, and to, I would resist the grass type stab, but he might, could have predicted that and go with the return, so either way, Venomosa would have survived. So here he switches out to his specially defensive Machoke Hulk, and I go with the substitute on the switch. And now I am a rather good position here. I can do pretty much whatever I want. He is faster because I run minus speed nature on this wild bloom. So the payback will not even break the sub, and I can freely go with the sleep powder. And this is a very, very nice situation for me because even though he has sleep talk, there's that sleep talk roulette. What he has to now struggle with. So. What will it get from the first leap talk? Let's see. And oh, he gets dynamic punch. And that thing is most definitely gonna break the sub, even though it's resisted. But because I'm behind a sub, it won't confuse me. And I'm free to fire off a sludge bomb to what that Machoke to do as much damage as possible. And that is rather impressive damage because that Machoke has max special defense, max HP, and Eviolite. So, thinking that he wouldn't get dynamic punch on this turn, I decide to stay in and go with the sub to get myself in the really nice position again. So, my Black Sludge gives me some HP back, and here he predicts that he's wake up and goes with the payback. Doesn't really matter for me, and here I go with the Giga Drain. And get. A little bit of an HP back, it's not as powerful as Sludge Bomb, but it still gives me a nice recovery with this Wild Plume. And here, even though I am behind a sub, I decide to switch out into my Musharna, because I want to take this Machoke out as soon as possible because of those Dynamic Punches. And here he goes with the Dynamic Punch, and I thought he would want to preserve his PP on that, so I decide to switch out behind the sub. It kind of was a dumb play, but hey, I got confused, but I still decide to be a stubborn person and stay in and try to hit that Machoke really hard with my stab, super effective choice back psychic. And he switches out to charge shot. That thing doesn't detect, take the hit at all, but it survives. Here I decide to switch in my Bentley, predicting a fire type move because of its blaze boost. And here, he's gonna go with that choice Pex overheat. And that thing is gonna do a lot. 
Even though it's resistant, I have Eviolite, it does a lot, but I still survive. And here, I have Fake Out to take that Charge Charge out, but I won't do that because I predict the switch. And I'm gonna switch into my Swellow because I think that he wants to bring that Source Block in and get my Toxic Orb activated on the Swellow, on the switch. And here, I have a very, very nice situation here. I can go with the U-turn, take that source back out with no problem because of the Guts boost. And here, I can bring pretty much whatever I want. And even though he has that charge shot what outspeeds most of my team, I decide to bring in Fortuna because I kind of think that I won't be needing this thing all that much. I still have that Swellow to handle that my choke. So he's gonna go with that Choice Pack Play Boosted Flame Power. And it's gonna. Really? It's kinda surprised me, but it takes the Musharna out. But it's Choice Pack Space Boosted Flame Thrower. So here I can bring in my Mitsubishi Zero Fighter, the Swellow, and go with the Brave Bird. I went with the Brave Bird because of the fact that he still has that Haunter and I can easily take it out if I would do that and he would switch out predicting a normal type move. So here I was expecting that Choice Scarf Haunter to come in but he doesn't bring that. And here I want to decide to go with the U-turn to go back into my War Turtle because I predicted him to go with the Stealth Rocks. And I want to him to think that I'm gonna... I want to rapid spin those rocks away. But... He still does have that Haunter, so I feel kind of restrained to do that. Here... When he goes with the Stealth Rocks, I know that Swellow doesn't like those all that much, but my other members of my team doesn't really mind them. So... I thought that he wants to make a solid, regular switch, but he went with the Baton Pass. I could have faked out, but I go with the Salt, creating that Haunter to come in and do as much damage to that Haunter. And here, I really can't switch out because I'm gonna be taken down in the switching if I do that. But because this Haunter is Joy Scarfed, and I can bring in my Gigalith to resist that Poison type Sludge Bomb and hit anything on his team hard with my Gigalith because it has the right moves to do that. Here he's gonna bring in that Gunatone basically as a death fodder. So I went with the Rock Blast, luckily it hits and it's gonna easily take that Gunatone out from that certain point of HP. So here I have my graveyard in rather good position with a lot of HP and leftovers. I kinda want to switch the item with this one because this Mawile, it is a huge threat and I cannot one-shot it after Intimidate. But I should have stayed in and done much, uh, as much damage as I could because that thing is a threat. So here I switch in my Regenerator Samantha and here goes with the Iron Head. It doesn't do that much but still it's considerable amount of damage on it. So here I get some leftover recovery, looking good, and here he's gonna go with the sword stance. Set up on my face, doesn't really matter, but I still don't really like that, but I'm gonna pull the last trick out of my bag, the trick room, activate that and have my wild bloom and giggle it as fast as possible, because they have minus speed natures, and those things are really good at the trick room, you have no idea. So he gonna get, he's gonna get some leftover recovery. I'm gonna switch right out into my Wild Plume. I should have brought my Gigalith in, but he has that Stab Iron Head, so I really can't do that. And I can Sleep Powder this thing, stop it right on its tracks. After plus four, he might wanna stay in, but then again, if he does, I Sleep Powder that, bring Gigalith in and take it out, no problem at all. So. He wants to switch out into Hulk as a sleep powder at this point. I go with the sleep powder, put that thing to sleep, and here I'm in, I'm again in a nice position here. That Machoke isn't a threat to me at this point. I can go with the sludge bomb, 
hoping that he wouldn't get that dynamic punch from the sleep talk roulette. But here he goes for the sleep talk. Let's see what it got. And it's dynamic punch. And that really is gonna sting because dynamic punch always confuses your foe. So here I'm gonna be confused, but I'm gonna get the black slot recovery and here he switches out because he knows that I don't have anything to hurt this Mawile with this Vile Plume. So he intimidates it, doesn't really matter. Here I try to go with the substitute, but I hit it myself in confusion. And yeah, so in, I'm in somewhat bad position because the Trick Room dimensions are gonna return to normal. He's gonna go with the Sword Stance. And here, this is very frightening because I know my Gigalith really doesn't take kindly the plus two Sword Stance boosted Iron Head, but I think I can take it because Gigalith's bulk is immense. Here I go with the subs, protect myself from tricks and iron head flinches so I can go with the Giga Drain to recover a bit of my HP and too much ass damage to this Mawile so I can take it out with ease later on. Or so I thought. So here we go. So he gets some leftover recovery. Doesn't really matter to me at this point because I just wanna take this thing out as fast as possible and here goes with the iron head and I just after it went past the hundred I thought this was a crit and indeed it was it took my venomosa out but I really couldn't do much with it so I don't think it mattered all that much but it still crits a crit but, well here I bring in my graveyard to do as much damage to this Mawile to take it out but here, he goes with the iron head, and the HP goes it's gonna hurt, and it goes, the HP goes down and down, but it, I won't survive, I won't be able to get my superpower out, and hit the mawa. My swallow, here, I don't have any attacking moves with the Samantha or Dino, so I'm gonna bring in my Mitsubishi Zero Fighter. I'm trying to go with the facade here because I forgot the Sucker Punch has only one plus one priority so I could have gone with a quick attack, but I didn't. So my Mitsubishi faints, it's going down, it's fall off the skies, and here the Mawile sweat my team. Really? A Mawile? That's impressive, Xenon. Thanks for the match though. So here I'm gonna run and I really appreciate this match, it was really good, very intense, and this is also my first Pokemon Wi-Fi battle video, so I appreciate comments, I appreciate tips, so yeah, thanks for watching, see you guys next time.